one topic i will guide you how to how to analyze the issue any of the issue this will be your guiding point and this issue i am not going to bind up today means i will just consider few points and i will give you the bind up okay how how to write wat how to write the essay writing how to participate in gd no purpose is not this one purpose is today i will just explore this issue i will explore this issue how many dimension of thinking can be then out of that which are the more prominent we have to include in our thought which are more prominent which are more relevant we have to include in our thought first thing is there now from last one two years these things are keep on increasing people are thinking one nation one election today also bengal election results is coming five state election happen every year after every six month keep on election happening how how much expenditure are happening direct and indirect it is not uh, you can say it is uh, out of calculation that much money is mobilizing from which source anyway direct indirect it will go from public only either it is going directly or indirectly and this is one of the root cause or you can say very seed cause of corruption if election will not frequent corruption automatically will come down because to just participate in election or to fight the election any political party or any leader needs fund how to how to mobilize the fund they have various way but once they are mobilizing the fund they have to they have to give back also or they have to honor them also from from which source they have taken the help then one nation one election you can say it it is now situation has come we have to go through this is one of the agenda point second agenda point i will just analyze the dilr paper of cat 20 slot 1 means how many caselet will be there how to how to scan the caselet and how to prioritize which caselet you have to attack first now you will not uh, now you will not uh, much you can say tools wise you are not because you have not gone through all the courses you are just in initial phase who have taken the cat 21 premium they are doing the phase zero preparation but uh, still you will able to convince it will be much easier if you are following that system whatever i have given in your dilr courses then these two major agenda will be there just will try to understand this topic one nation one election how to analyze first thing is there we must understand what is the issue what is the issue means one nation one election it is one just one line to understand this issue we must know what is the concept of nation what is the situation of india in perspective of nation what is the election system in india and how constitutionally constitutionally it is affecting the nation and you can say people second is what is the present condition what is present condition now it is multiple election every state having their own schedule and general election having their own schedule it is not synchronized it is not synchronized what was the past condition this must we think any of the issue we must go little past or little historical reference how it was because one small dis one small step at national level can affect maybe multiple years like in 1947 when british government has transferred the power to congress and the way of the transferring the power that is still affecting the india after 75 years of independence to historical perspective past condition we must consider 1947 only they apply they have just introduced in jammu and kashmir the article 377 how many how many years it has taken to remove it 70 years 75 years it has taken to remove one article from the constitution and based on that various rights people people were not getting in past they started to get due to these all are national issues or this one decision can affect the nation not one year two year it may affect 50 or 100 years then we must know the past condition any of the issue most of the issue whatever you will find in place of one one nation one election i will tell i will tell the garibi hatao remove the poverty this slogan is given by the indira gandhi 1980 and based on that slogan only she again came to the power garibi hati kya nahi garib bhale hat rahe garibi nahi hati whenever you are you are thinking about the poverty then we must start we must take reference from 1980 when this slogan was given then past situation we must analyze due to modern history or you can say after independence little bit knowledge it should be what changes needed what we want change now and most important question why we want this change now 
if we want this change this particular change means elections or three level of govern, go, governing system in india is there like uh, central level a state level and you can say panchayat level or municipal corporation level if all these election are now having their own schedule if we want to make synchronize if we want to make synchronize then how we'll do it this is this we have to think how it is not only constitutional amendment lot of infrastructure development needed lot of evm evm we have to develop or you can say how if single time we want to uh, want to conduct election all over india for all three type of election then lot of infrastructure will be needed how to do it to conduct fair election to con election commission will have lot of pressure and uh, uh, this is or you can say just layman way if you will come to the again constitutional way then many of the article we have to amend together many of the articles we have to amend article 83 we have to amend article 85 we have to amend article again 172 174 so many articles we have to amend together this is not easy this is not easy and many of the articles again maybe it will be challenge in supreme court it is going to affect your preamble if it is going to affect your preamble then you will not able to move any constitutional changes these all are things we should must know about the nation and afterwards second most important for your preparation point of view for your cat point of view its various impacts like if you are doing this change then how what will be the political impact social impact financial impact legal impact and others others i kept because many of the issue will have certain specific impact certain particular impact that we can include here but these four type of impact almost all issue will have many of the interpersonal issues will be there like marriage system that also having political social impact it looks like a personal issue but it is not personal issue it's not personal issue education of girl it is not personal issue it is financial issue if girl will be more educated you will get double you will get uh, more financial income in every house it will be easy to run it will be easy to grow then all issues you have to just reconnect with these four major pillar political social financial and legal impact then just will try to again i am just uh, putting just i am uh, i am trying to explore all the facets of this issue based on that you will able to understand how to analyze and how to think about the any issue because thinking is the most precious thing god has given to us only human being can think due to we are superior among all the animals and everything then how to think like first nation india it is a union of a state it is a union of a state total 29 states are there few are you can say centrally governed and these 29 states are having their own schedule of elections either uh, you can say maybe a state uh, a state election or maybe it is a their municipal corporation whatever will be there they have their own schedule based on based on their uh, you can say uh, political political parties who are ruling there and nation india general election this is having their own schedule like 2014 again 19 this question here how to synchronize this both type of election we have two elex election commission body one is election commission and another is a state election commission under a state election commission we are conducting all a state related uh, elections like uh, a state uh, a state assemblies afterwards it will come uh, it will come to your uh, panchayat election afterwards it will come municipal corporation they it mainly municipal corporation and panchayat election will be conducted fully by a state election commission a state assembly it will be you can say joint effort mainly election commission will put all effort but a state election commission will liaising with all these things question is how to synchronize is it easy is it very easy to synchronize this making this 29 states to convince them and all political party will agree on same point is it easy because india is having quasi federal system what is difference between union and federalism what is difference between union and republic what is difference between unitary system and federalism system little bit we should must know as a citizen of india it is not needed you are a political science student then only you will know if you are going to become a ce or you are become a manager your knowledge must be your span of knowledge must be wide union of a state and federal structure main difference is there 
in union of union of a state any state cannot make political movement to separate from that country like in india whatever 29 states are there any state cannot make any political movement i want to become separate from india it will become unconstitutional it will become anti nationalism you can't either maharashtra or gujarat or maybe you, you, uttar pradesh any of the big state if they want to separate from india it is not possible constitutionally it is not possible it will be suppressed by central government because india is a union of a state but in place of union of the state if it is a fed, federal of the state like usa then any of the state can be political uh, politically motivated to become separated from the center it can be and if it is a republican it will become further lucid like ussr earlier it was a biggest power then 1991 ussr has divided and now many of the state now ussr is not biggest power afterwards only usa has become the uh, you can say superpower the union of the state republic of the state federalism of the state but major system you can say how to govern and how to divide the power between top and local government that is called that is called you can say system uh, you can say this uh, system of the governance and basically it is two poles are there one is unitary system one is federal system india is always in if you will you, you might be knowing little bit or if you are you will read further about the constitution then everywhere it is not taken any of the clear cut step india is always following buddha mark madhyam madhyam mark in between unitary is best example is uk where only center will be superpower whatever states are coming under under that their power the if center wish to give something they will give that is called devolution of power means they are devolving this is not your rights i am devolving my power due to i am giving certain rights ideal example uk and france these two are pillar of unitary system another 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 side is there just opposite side federal system federal system is usa this is ideal example india is following quasi federal in inspiration it is federal but in application it is unitary due to it is union but most of the majority of country are following the unitary system 193 countries of the un 165 countries are following unitary system now small small just i am triggering your gk many of the times you will get very confusion just because here uk just discussion came due to i am asking what is difference between england uk great britain london british isles many of the people will confuse many of the people will confuse but don't think to understand or to know all these information you should read the political political science or you should as a cat aspirant or as a general citizen of india we should know these all major because uk usa these are the major power in world major super power in the world we must know their political system little bit then only we will able, we will able to understand it what is difference if i will convert to you can say like uh, in mathematics then i will make london is a subset of england england is a subset of and great britain is a subset of uk and uk is a subset of british isles but as a nation what is uk united kingdom it is included england it is included if you want to understand you can understand based on this map it will be more clear like just to look here this is your england this is your scotland this is your wales and this is your northern ireland combinedly all these four it is your uk but if you are just separating ireland it will become great britain if you are including including all it will become british isles london is the capital of uk london is the capital of uk and here scotland after that ireland wales many of the rights they are having but they don't have rights to become separate from uk they don't have rights whatever london will rule it will be applicable throughout this territory and whatever power uk has given on the wishes of their king this is devolution of power not rights of the state there are scotland cannot ask i have the i have the rights to get this power like india many of the states are asking 
India, many of the states are asking. One time, Chandra Babu Naidu has told, "Who are giving the mo most uh, most taxes to India or central government? These those states are having rights to get that much uh, that much amount of money in the form of planning. Means whatever social planning money or spending wise, the central government it should be directly proportional to taxes." But central government will not think like that. Central government will think from rich, riches who are producing, like Maharashtra, Punjab, and Delhi combinedly. It is giving almost eighty percent taxes. I am telling industrial tax, but it is not necessary. All eighty percent you have to give back these three, four a state. Then how other other region or other area will develop? The central government is they will take from where it is coming and wherever it is needed, they will allocate money. Then here also you can say it is a total unitary system. Nobody can go against this. You can say reign of king, who are ruling here, complete unitary system. And just opposite of that, it is USA. This is federal structure. In federal structure, if election time, what was recently, Joe Joe Biden has become the president of USA. And when election was happening, then consecutively every state governor election also was happening. Under same political system, but two election will happen. One is governor of the state, another is the president of the federal structure of USA. Then just we'll move. I will, I'm just widening your way of thinking this session. Next session, if we will analyze the issue, I will give you very crisp idea how to attack this issue. But without thinking, once your thinking will not explore, it will be not useful. analyze each aspect critically and its pros and cons and try to make valid argument this argument can be premises or you can convert into facts also then just will try to go few images it will give you the further idea india is a union of a state and this has emphasized in article 1 of constitution of india describe india as a union of a state and like federation of a state indian federation is not a result of any agreement among the states like usa a state has no right to separate from the federation means india nobody can like nobody can say i want to become separate from india give me separate a separate country no a state have rights for that and we must any time you like bachcha mein school mein padhate na preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure all its citizens justice liberty equality fraternity and integrity all this must be we at least basic inspiration of the nation you will get it then uh, just will move one of the factor i am telling you that will give you concrete idea many of the factors are there If I will keep on a speak related to one nation, one election, then maybe two hour, three hour, I will keep on a speak. I will teach you all the constitution and political system. It will be so interesting. But it will right now that much time it is it is not allowed, and you are also not ready to give. Why it is needed? Because one of the figure is very alarming. Now, this is official figure. Nineteen fifty two first general election have conducted in India. That time only expenditure was eleven crores. Only eleven crores. 2019 general election happen official figure is 60000 crores expenditure this i am telling official maybe all the parties has not given the exact figure if you will include exact expenditure then i think it will be triple of this minimum it will go around 2 lakh crore if you are comfortable to understand in dollar then it is 8.5 billion dollar expenditure official expenditure soon by the election commission you can google it Google Baba will give you all the all the information. Now it is only general election expenditure. In these five years, in you can say span of five years, how many state election has election has conducted and how much expenditure happened, we can't imagine. But that much money directly, indirectly, it is going from our pocket. Either it is going through industrialist or it is going going through the taxes or it is going through your uh, donations. If you have more money, then our Madhmi Party will come give two lakhs. Otherwise, Jharu will throw you. Correct? Then either directly or indirectly, it is going from our pack, our pocket only. And this much huge expenditure, this poor country where still twenty three, twenty five percent people are living, living under the poverty level or you can say BPL category. Is it advisable? 
it is alarming figure it is official figure but still alarming this is one of the things i am telling just will give you little uh, past data in 52 57 62 it was the single election all the state assembly and national election happened together that time only congress was there no opposition all the state congress ruling everywhere center also congress then no disturbances was there a state and uh, nation all election happened together but after 62 and 64 nehru died disturbance started then afterwards it is not happening and afterwards what happened many of the lo many of the lok sabha has like a fifth lok sabha what happened it is extended due to emergency imposed by indira gandhi due to emergency imposed by indira gandhi it is extended almost eight years in place of five years and afterwards many of the lok sabha if you will count sixth seventh ninth eleventh twelfth thirteenth all has premature if you will just start to count like uh, uh, last 20 years almost you can say 1969 77 80 afterwards 84 96 98 99 all was premature and due to all schedule has become disturbed then if this was the situation in future why not a single time one nation one election why not political party don't want because they are thinking they are thinking one single election will happen then one of the disadvantage for regional party they will not have vote bank they will not have appeal to the local issues because national issue will become predominant and or advantage will go to the national national party this is one of the due to any of the regional party is not supporting this uh, this idea one nation one election they will lose because people are thinking many of the times like if I am together if I will vote or if you will go to the vote then you will try to give vote for same party at the state and nation, national level also. Because this is one of the common ideology if both place same party is ruling then development will be easy otherwise some political conflict. The national party is having little but, but my point of view it is not a disadvantage it is advantage only. It is advantage only. Maybe it will be all regional party, a small, a small will be abolished. It is good for India. Only two, three national party will able to sustain. This is good. Then future it can be. We have to think. And another idea is there like article 352, article 356. It will be misused many times. And it is a started once Indira Gandhi at a single time nine state assembly has, di has dissolved based on the 356. What is 356 and 352? 356 is emergency, everybody knows. 356 will be 356 will only happen once constitutional disturbances will be there. Or failure of failure of political system, failure of constitutional machinery in the state. But 352 can be applied in the condition of internal disturbances, threats, external war, or something happens. And three based on the 352 fifth lok sabha is extended up to eight years and based on the 356 she has she has demolished nine state government together in one single night and afterwards only did all based on all these data only people are afraid to go for one nation one election